Hey guys, uh, welcome to this uh, first introductory uh, video to, to the Azure portal, I would say. Uh, in this video, we're going to keep all the videos kind of short and on point. And in this video, I want to uh, just give you guys a brief understanding of what the Azure portal is and how we will start using the Azure portal in order to create different kinds of resources. So Azure Portal is uh, the website or the UI where we as users uh, can interact with, uh, with Azure and uh, uh, rent uh, virtual machines or uh, storage or uh, whatever, uh, whatever uh, cloud services we would like to need, uh, we can use the Azure Portal to get them. Uh, the Azure Portal contains a couple of different things. First thing is that, well, you need to have an account uh, to, to Azure and all of you guys should have an account. If you don't have an account, you need to get an account because with an, without an account, it's not possible. So the first thing you do is you, you, you need an, an, an Azure account, you sign into your Azure account. Then you will be greeted with this page. Now, for you, it might look a little bit uh, different. That's fine. Uh, because you most likely haven't used a lot of resources, but the majority of it should look the same. And uh, the first thing is, first thing I want uh, want to recommend you guys is to to change the the language. I think many of you will have Azure in your native language, right? Uh, my recommendation is to change it to English because whenever you run into a problem and you need to find a solution for the problem, well, you're going to want to know the English terms for different things, right? And the way to do that is that in this top navigation bar, there's, uh, there's this uh, wheel. You press the wheel and then you go to language and region and then you change the language to 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 english and another thing you can do because most likely your azure portal is also is also white right if you want to go to dark mode you can go to appearance and startup view and then you can press dark and then apply and then whenever you want to go back to the home page from here, well, you can press the X here, or you can just press the, the logo up here on the top left. This is what I like to do. Whenever I want to go back to the dashboard, I just press the logo to on the top. And now we're on the dashboard. So you need an account uh, and uh, uh, you need a subscription. So whenever you want to do something, anything in Azure, you need a subscription. And a subscription is basically who's paying for this. Now you all will have subscription provided by, by us etrx gulan uh, but if you're uh, somebody else uh, outside this course watching this video then you will need a subscription you can get a subscription for free in azure there is a, a free a free version i think you can have it for one year or 200 dollars you can look look that look into that or you need a credit card so either that or this um but so you need an account and you need a subscription and you got you guys got those things now in the azure portal there are a couple of different things we'll see uh, here is azure services uh, so this will uh, just show the recent services you have been using for example you see that subscription is first here if i press virtual machine and i pray around with the virtual machine now the virtual machine is first here. So this is basically just a, 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 a history of what services you've been using. And this is also the same. So under this, you have this resources tab. That's basically the rec most recent uh, services you've been, you've been uh, uh, visiting uh, on, this, on this computer, right? Now, uh, to create a resource in Azure, uh, you can go about it three different ways. So to create a resource in Azure, you can either press this button, create a resource. You can search for a resource up here, or you have this hamburger menu to the left. If you press it on the top left, you get this uh, nav bar. And in this nav bar, you have some, uh, some basic things, but you also have some favorites uh, over here. But what I like to do is I, I like to create, uh, create uh, press create resource or just search for whatever I need. In Azure, everything starts with something called a resource group. So basically, a resource group is kind of a box. You can see it as a box or a folder. And in this folder, you put everything that's related to one project. For example, me, I'm a, I work as a, the cloud specialist on ETRX Gulan. 
ETEX Coolan has many subscription. Uh, it has many uh, uh, web machine. It has many students using different things. And in order for me to keep track of who does what, well, everybody puts their things in different kinds of resource groups. So they're kind of putting their uh, everything related to, to one project in one resource group. And the resource group is kind of the most basic thing in Azure. Everything's, everything needs to be in a resource group. So uh, what you do is you can search for resource group up here, and then you will see resource groups. You press it, and then you can press create on the top left. You press create, and then you, you are presented with this blade over here. Now, there are some things you need to fill in, and it's marked with red. If, if it's not, not marked with red, you can skip it. It's op optional, but all of these you need to fill in. And these things you almost need to fill in for every resource you create in Azure. So what are they? Well, the first thing is, for every resource you create in Azure, there has to be a subscription paying for this, or at least in in uh, that has the responsibility to pay for this, right? And this, this, uh, the, the, the subscription you have been given is called Mollenutvecklung. So this is the one you press, right? And if you have a Azure free student, you press, uh, you press the name of your subscription. Then you need to give your resource group a name. And you can name it anything. This is this is uh, you can put anything here. I can put potato, and you will see the word potato uh, uh, a lot during uh, this course uh, because I like this word. But you can put anything you want here. But in a company uh, uh, where you use Azure, you will have a lot of resources. And if you name your resource groups uh, with, if you give it stupid names, well, it's going to be hard for you to find them, right? So. Don't name your resource group stupid names. Try to give them uh, names that uh, makes it easy to uh, uh, to find stuff later, right? So what I like to do is I like to start with my initial. So I go RK for Robin Camo. So I always start with that, and then I do a, a, a dash. And then what is the name of the project? Or what is this resource group intended to do? Right. So let's say this resource group is is uh, is to demonstrate uh, virtual machine. So I will say uh, virtual machine, uh, something like that. You can name it. So whatever the, the the name of the project is, you put it here. Let's say it's a, a database for my users, users database, or uh, let's say it's a website, a website, or front end website. Whatever you put you. Whatever you want to name your project, you put it. You put it in there. I want to name my project. I'll uh, uh, put it virtual machine uh, demo, and then I like to do dash one more time, and then put RG uh, for resource group. Again, just to easier. Uh, when you see it in different lists, you you will know what is what, right? Then you get this resource details. Uh, you have what region. So when it asks the region, this is uh, this is ac Asher actually asking you. So you have these resources. In which data center of all of our, all our data centers do you want to uh, put this resource group? Because Azure has data centers uh, across a lot of uh, countries, right? They have it in in, in many different regions. So you have data centers in America, you have in Europe, you have in Asia, you have in India, you have you have data centers everywhere. And here you get uh, you get the option to sp to to be specific. Which one do you want? And uh, right now I won't go into go into it uh, so deep, but yeah. Uh, you might want to do some research before you choose what region uh, you want to use if you're actually working for a customer that has some restrictions, right? But we'll get into that later. But for now, you need to know that the only uh, regions that work within this modern uh, uh is North Europe and West Europe. So you do go on, so either North Europe or West Europe. Right? I will disable all the other regions so that you know. So only West Europe or North Europe. And me, usually I go with, with, with West Europe. And then you can uh, press review and create. And then you press create. So now we have created a resource group. Uh, let's go uh, modern entwickling.
small utvecli i will search for it there we go here you go subscription oh, I, I i wrote the name so this is the name of the virtual machine i should have just done rk because then it will show up so this, this is mine and then you see uh, no resources so it's an empty uh, box basically we've, we've created an empty box so <coughs> to recap uh, in Azure, we have many types of resources. Uh, we can create virtual machines, we can create databases, we can create uh, AI services. Whatever we create has to start in a, uh, a resource group. And uh, with a resource group, we can also easily see how much everything within the resource uh, group is costing us. So we, we get a good cost analysis of how much everything is is actually costing us uh, lumped up together rather than have to go to every simple uh, every uh, single resource and see oh, this cost this much this cost this much this cost this much here we get a, a very good overview so again a resource group in Azure is kind of like a folder and in this folder you can put whatever resource you want and everything starts kind of with a resource group so this was video one uh, about uh, different kinds of resources in Azure. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, the next video will be, uh, will be, you will find the next video on the, on the same spot that you find this video. Thank you guys. Bye.